Hello there, I am Izzy Noodles and this is day one of quarantine for me. So in the UK we are not on full lockdown, people can still go out to the supermarkets, get essentials, but pretty much, yeah, you are. we have been told do not go outside unless you need to. Do not see your friends, do not see your family. Uh, running is fine, you know, your general exercise kind of routines. So my quarantine has come about because my workplace will be closing. It's open today for one last day, but then it will be closed for an undetermined amount of time. So my, it's uh, my day off today anyway, so that's why uh, my quarantine that starts today. Otherwise, I would just keep on going to work. So I'm actually quite glad <laughs> to be able to coop myself up and stay safe at home. So it's not so much catching anything, it's the fact that you yourself could pass it on as well. So it is all quite daunting, so you got to figure out what you're gonna do with yourself. So um, yeah, so for me, quarantine day one, I've decided to keep video diary entries just cause just to fill my time, something to do. So uh, in real life, um, in my daily work, I actually use these. So because my uh, my work schedule is already like all over the place, I might work an afternoon for four hours, I might work a morning for four hours, I might do a full eight hour day. So it just varies so much for me that I like to use them grid sheets with, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. And it's it helps me actually figure out my my walkthrough times. When can I fit in to do a bit of walkthrough practice as well? So if you're in quarantine and you've been in quarantine for quite a bit longer than myself, and you are getting so bored and you are losing your mind, then I suggest something like that. Find a routine so you don't have to just sit around and just wonder what on earth to do. Uh, maybe set an alarm, keep getting up at a certain time, or even if you don't want to set an alarm, try and get up at a certain time. So it, it is always nice to wake up naturally without an alarm, so I get it, you don't want an alarm. Uh, maybe start a workout, if you've been at home a while you're gonna be kind of withering away I suppose. So find something heavy and mobile around your house, see if you can like do some weight lifting so to speak, maybe an unplugged printer. That might be heavy enough to just, you know, keep lifting and doing stuff, keeping moving. Uh, also, if you're struggling, maybe start a diary entry, whether it be just written or recorded and no one ever needs to see it. So if you prefer to record it, it might uh, occupy your time a little more no one actually needs to watch it, you don't need to upload it anywhere, you just speak your thoughts. Specifically if you're going to write a diary, you can just, uh, you don't have to write a big essay on your feelings, <laughs> you just, you can make points on what you did today. If you watched a film, what did you watch? If you played a game, what did you play? Uh, something I've already done today, which I could put down in a, a written diary entry, is I painted my nails. Oh yes. <laughs> so that's that's an important thing I did today. Uh, if you've been checking out YouTube videos, what kind of videos? You know, simple things. It's just a, a different way to try and help you get through the time while you're not leaving the house, while you're all cooped up. Just thoughts and ideas. Other things to occupy your time could be to finally do some clearing up, sorting out, get rid of things you do not need. Um, I actually wouldn't suggest taking them to the charity shop just at this point in time, but uh, obviously just put them in the bin if you are unable to leave your house to get to the bin. Find a designated space in your home, keep them all together and then bin them when you get the opportune moment. So start some spring cleaning, tidying up, because your environment is much nicer to be in if it's tidy. 
something else to keep you sane would possibly be, you know, keep trying to talk to people like, over the phone or FaceTime or even on, like, social places such as, you know, Discord or if any kind of messenger or WhatsApp. Anything, just try and continue to be interactive where you can because I'm sure someone else will appreciate that too, especially older family members who might feel quite a lot more isolated than usual. It will certainly, uh, you know, make them feel less lonely. Make sure to keep hydrated, have a balanced diet, and uh, yeah, so this is the start of my video diaries that I'm, I'm gonna start uploading. Thank <laughs> you. 